Sometimes you run into odd and interesting things when adventuring deep in the Canadian backcountry. Today we show you an Easter egg that we found at the summit of Helena Peak. For more detail on the route up and the delicious one pot cabbage and pork we braised, you can see that in our previous video. The hike up to Rockbound Lake is a long and rewarding day hike. It's a great advanced hike for beginners that gets you up the tree line where the alpine begins. For those who are confident, Summiting Castle, Protection and Helena don't require much in the way of advanced mountaineering skills or gear and makes a good solid long day for anyone fit enough to hike over a half marathon in a day. The trail uses an old fire road for the first six kilometers and is well trodden up to the lake. So, welcome to Rock Mountain Lake. We are heading up onto the head wall tonight um, and hopefully summiting Helena and Castle, and there's a few in Castle, but um, turned out to be a lot more snow than we expected, but them's the breaks sometimes. Beyond Rockbound Lake, the trail is still generally well defined, although root finding skills will come in handy as it braids and fades in and out. The view from the summit of Helena makes it a must-do, as you can see past Cascade Mountain that towers over the Banff town site to the south, and look down on the Chateau Lake Louise 20 kilometers to the north. The motivation for our trip was for Paul to connect with other ham radio enthusiasts in a contest called Summits on the Air. Basically, radio enthusiasts collect points for contacting each other to and from summits around the world. You don't win much except for the laud and adoration from other ham radio nerds. Think of it like an old school version of getting social media likes, but this takes place on a social network that predates the internet by more than 100 years. Victor Alpha 6, Mike, Papa Mike, calling CQ Sota, standing by. Whiskey Zero, Mike, November Alpha. Whiskey Zero, Mike, November Alpha. Whiskey Zero, Mike, November Alpha. You're coming in at a 5x7, five 5x7, by seven, five by seven, QSL. QSL, QSL, you're 5'5", Kansas, 55, Kansas. Thank you for the 5'5", five five Kansas, Gary, and you have a good day. 73, from Victor Alpha 6, Mike, Papa Mike. Calling CQ and standing by. This is NQ7R, Norway, Quebec 7 Radio. Norway, Quebec 7 Radio, you're coming in at a 5x9. 5 5x9 9. 5 9 QSL. This is Victor Alpha 6, Mike Papa Mike. I am on frequency calling CQ SOTA, CQ Summits on the Air, VA6 MPM calling CQ and standing by. So we're at the summit of Mount Helena in uh, Banff National Park, Canada. Uh, we're doing a summits on the air activation. You can kind of see Paul back there connecting to people from Kansas, Quebec, California, all from the summits of uh, uh, Canada. This summits on the air thing is a ham radio thing. So when you cross a mountaineer and a nerd, my friend Paul is what you get. Um, it's actually pretty fun. I'm uh, in the process of getting my license, but uh, either way, it gives you a reason to get to some summits and enjoy some of the scenery. That is Rockbound Lake below. Um, you can see below that another little lake. You can see the stream down the valley. You can see the highway. Um, I'll zoom in for you there. And you can see just over that range in the distance is Cascade. And behind that is Banff, the town site. Um, Castle Mountain is right there. Um, Storm Mountain and the road to Kootenai National Park is right there. Spectacular drive if you've never made it. And if you look way down there, 
You can see Chateau Lake Louise. Mount Temple actually just poked out of the clouds. You can see Eiffel and Hungaby, Fay. You can see lots of stuff. Now down there is a great big pile of rocks. We don't know what they're for. We thought it was the summit pile when we were approaching the uh, the summit, but then we realized it's quite a bit lower than the summit. So you can probably see him back there. I'm going this way down here, I'm trying not to fall with my camera because who wants to buy a second camera because he did something stupid. I've done that before enough to know I don't want to do it again. Oh well, yeah, look at that. It's a long way down. Long way down. But yeah, there it is. You can see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna turn this around. So I don't know if it's like some weird altar or just something someone put together for the fun of it. But it like has benches and stuff. Here it is. You know, maybe someone got married here. You can kneel on that altar. Actually, there's a cable here, which tells me there's probably uh, some kind of a stash. And I'm pretty sure that's either a summit log. Oh, there's the summit log. And this is probably a geocache. But I'm friends with enough nerds already. I don't need a friend that geocaches. Um, anyways, I'm gonna open that up. Or can I do it? Yeah, there we go. That. Come on. Urn. Oh, it's an urn. That's cool. Urn of the late Lori Vod Gip. G-I-J-P. 1999. From Calgary. Well, that's actually really cool. A little cross and a cross stitch package. Follow your star. That's the urn. What a place to be buried. I think that's awesome. If I ever go, you can do the same with me. Follow your star. Past June 15th, so someone else has been to put her. Sharon Vandegeer. Seems like a must be family. I think it's Dutch names. Either way, let's just see what else this is. A necklace, the star, and a button. Alberta Adventures. I like these people already. Well, rest in peace. Um, I'm going to do this without dropping the box. Well, I'd have to say these people are lucky they have the family they do who would haul them up here. I'm actually going to open that up too. I'll be back. Guest book, I think. A very wet guest book. Twenty nineteen August was the last person to check in here. Holy wind, they said. Actually, today it's not very windy. This was built by me, Tim, in memory of my dad that died of cancer. Can't read some of this. It looks like it has some mold growing, but uh, something about memories and sprinkles his ashes. 
And big words, please, please, please don't destroy this marker. If there's one thing that annoys me is how much people will just senselessly destroy something. I'm going to make a note here. Oh, no. Pencil is not going to work on this wet paper. No, well, this video will have to be my signature on that. It's unfortunate because it's got a hole in it so it's let water in, but it's here, it's readable. So it's working. And cover this back up. Well, I'm glad I walked all the way down here. What a place to be buried. Like I said, this is what you can do with me if and when I go. I say if because we might live forever at the rate medicine is going. Anyways, rest in peace.